With an abundance of historical culture and tropical terrain, not so many Cambodian people actually have the chance to visit all the tourism destinations that their own nation has to offer. Besides some of the temple and certain seaside area, only a small number of Cambodians have ever fully experienced Cambodia virgin wilderness until now. From the undiscovered waterfall deep inside the Dan jungle to the far-flung tiny island off the coast of San Wheel and Kokong province, Cambodia tourism destinations are growing in popularity with the domestic market. Following the relative peace established in the late 1990s, the concept of travel for leisure has re-emerged in Cambodian culture. Destinations within a short proximity to Phnom Penh have become a prime target for tourism operators, particularly as transport links have developed. Even the road from Phnom Penh to Siem Reap province, one of the most visited parts of Cambodia, was made easily accessible and comfortable only a decade ago. Furthermore, the road to Cambodia's famous seaside provincial destination, Sayanut Wheel, are still questionable in terms of safety, especially when traveling at night time. However, new and update changes are being implemented in the form of new road aimed at connecting this popular destination. The problem is the accessibility. Travel can be costly when distance, safety, and other essential needs are taken into consideration. To the far north are the steep mountain range and dense forest. To the far south are the ocean and the possibility of natural storms and strong water current. When combined with the cost and time, this complication has become a limitation for the majority of Cambodians when planning a trip. However, changes are occurring at a notable rate. With the introduction of certain investment and the ever-expanding scope of social media usage as well as broadcasting such as video blogging, the far-flung tourism destination of Cambodia have been opened up. Tropical islands kilometers away from the shore have received a growing amount of interest both domestically and internationally. More than just the local seafood businesses, islands such as Koh Rong and Koh Rong Sunlam, two popular island destinations, have acquired transformative investment expanding their tourism capacity. Bungalow, cocktail bar, and other luxurious resorts are making an appearance along those island sandy white beaches. Frequent high-speed boat service narrow down the time needed to link between the coastline and the island. In the past, most people only spend their time at the mainland beaches, but now more and more Cambodians seem to enjoy expanding their rudders of domestic travel into the sea water island region. To the far north and the northeastern part of Cambodia, the same process is slowly beginning to take shape. During the 1990s, traveling to Ratanakiri or Mandolkiri provinces was an entirely off-road experience, an experience which was not really enjoyable when the traveler actually wanted to urgently visit their family member or conduct business. It took days just to cover a distance of around 600 km across the thick jungle and painfully bumpy roads. But deep inside those mountainous regions lived the population of various indigenous minorities. The tribal community, which a few decades ago were far away from receiving the influence of the rest of the world. The region comprised of tribal language and culture, but through urbanization, these indigenous cultures are being altered slowly, day by day, they absorb the way of the rest of the world. Because of the inevitable changes, it is only a matter of time before the culture of this tribal community in their purest form will ease to exist. This is why, for some Cambodian traveler, being able to witness and experience the culture and lifestyle of this tribal population is one of the most important things that need to be done before time runs out. A sense of adventure among the Cambodian youth have been amplified by social media and may kickstart an explosive of demand for more daring travel.
Beautiful high-resolution videos and images have captured the attention of many Cambodians, allowing them to appreciate the eye-catching landscape that exists within their own border. So back to the obvious question, will the island and indigenous village become Cambodian next famous tourism destination? With the increase of family incomes, the power of social media and the improvement of transportation, these above-mentioned destinations are more likely to see a gradual yet unprecedented rise in domestic tourism in the coming year. With all these positive expectations, plenty of improvement are still needed to be done for these tourism destinations to reach its maximum potential. As for the island region, the infrastructure is still limited. It is understandable that the region possesses many natural barriers which contribute to higher costs for all kinds of construction, getting the equipment and material across the Ross Sea, transporting them across the island and maintaining them through the strong ocean wind and the corrosive seawater is surely no easy task. Food price as well as labor costs are far more expensive than on land. The consistent availability of fresh water and electricity is still pretty much an issue for the islander when compared to those who live on island. The electrical grid only covers the densely populated part of the island. The rest still heavily rely on a small gasoline generator to power their electrical equipment. Emergency response on the island is still very haphazard. As for the service provider, the cell phone connection can still be a bit of a challenge for some of the traveler. Furthermore, the plan of building airport on any of these islands is still perhaps a long way to go. Heading back north, the tribal community are still slowly gaining recognition from the public. However, a few more things are needed to be done as a way to offer travelers a unique insight into their way of life. To begin with, a proper and easily understandable guide about those villages is still below the point of reasonable satisfaction. The process of locating the village can be a bit puzzling, so how to get there safely and efficiently, who to meet, as well as what to expect such as tasting the tribal cuisine need to be better publicized. Apart from the physical infrastructure, the lack of deep awareness of the slow disappearance of those few indigenous lifestyles still present a barrier for traveler. Documentation as well as information about the tribal community are still limited. Optimistically though, much progress has been made across this region of Cambodia. By comparing them to the recent past, these places have experienced a remarkable change in terms of their tourism potential. More travelers will find way to go further and deeper. If the trend continues, this unrecognized region of the past are more likely to be regarded very differently in the near future.